Left okay. to go. We are very close to capturing him. You'll get a full statement then. Right now, I've got better things to do, ma'am. That was Deputy Chief Jim Rivera from the NYPD with no further comment at this time. Apart from his suspicious food habits, I figured Bravora to be one of the good guys. Fate had just dropped us on different sides in this. But when it came to capturing me, he was way out of his league. I had already ditched the cops a couple of rooftops back. For now, Warte, dich krieg ich. Nein! Nein! <lacht> Mach mal. Bin hier. Können. Er kommt. Ja, du kriegst jetzt noch die Granate da hinten. Aua! Oh. Granate. Da hinten der. Alter! Sonst sie uns Granaten hast, liebe ja ehrlich. Gagnetti ran out of steam in a dead-end alley with steam boiling out of the sewer grates like all the fires of hell were burning high beneath us. It was shakedown time. Where's Lupino? Screw you! Bad start, Vinny. Ah! Flee 
police brutality. I rate pretty high on that. You, 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 you can't just hurt me in cold blood. Uh, just keep telling yourself that. <gasps> Listen good, candy man. I'm not gonna be anybody's fall guy. I wanna know where your boss is hiding. There was no glory in this. I hadn't asked for this crap. Trouble had come to me in big dark swarms. The good and the just were like gold dust in the city. I had no illusions. I was not one of them. I was no hero. Just me and the gun and the crook. My options had decreased to a singular course. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, just don't hurt me no more. Lupino's at Ragnarok, the nightclub. Book me, take me in a whole minute to freaking jail, just don't hurt me. Your rights will be read at your funeral. Chapter 8 Ragnarok Nutze Info für den Chat. Der Chat darf mittlerweile ähm, Chat-Commands benutzen. Die werden nicht aufgenommen. Ausrufezeichen Pumpgun. Ist erlaubt. Ragnarok was Lupino's private nightclub, a den of drugs built into an old theater. I knew what waited inside. V had junkies ready to explode in random acts of senseless violence, and Lupino's goon squad, the worst stone cold killers this side of hell. Genau das, OJ. Genau das. Ragnarok was as inviting as a headache, flickering and flashing to a machine gun beat. The belly of a nightclub was a gothic theme park that began with bondage games and led to the nasty stuff from there. As subtle with its dark message as a cop killer bullet through the heart. Like father, like son. Just like Jack Lupino. What the? Schießt uns denn da an? Wo kommst du denn her? Ich hab gedacht, da geht's rein. Ah, denkst du? Hier geht's rein. The book had never been a bestseller. Given the setting, I was surprised to find that somebody had been passing time reading. The paperback was entitled. The Age of Murder and Storm. The blurb on the back mentioned Norse mythos and Ragnarok, the end of a Viking world with a terrible winter that covered the earth in ice, when vile crimes were rampant and all humanity lost. I could see how somebody impressionable might get it into their head that we were at the end of time. I was also beginning to see what the nightclub and its owner were all about. Da war jemand verdammt schnell mit seiner... Ja. Hold it. 
Jesus! Nein! Schwarzen Mantel. Och ja, doch. Gefällt mir, hier können wir bleiben. The room was stacked with light reading, such as Necronomicon, Witchcraft, and Paradise Lost. Old exotic titles like Malleus Malficarum and De Umbrarum Rainy Novum Portis. Books with pentagrams on their covers, all dealing with the occult and the infernal, lying between stacks of horror videos and a couple of Ouija boards. The only thing I could take seriously was the thought of Lupino taking it seriously. He had been spending a lot of time getting intimate with the guy downstairs. So nicht, mein Herr, so nicht. Doch, OJ. Oft genug.
Cheat! Karaoke never was my scene. <lacht> Karaoke war nicht meine Szene früher. Okay, wo geht's raus? Okay, eins haben wir oben. 
zwei mal weg. Gut, das müsste funktionieren. Geht doch. Chapter 9 An Empire of Evil The backstage area led to Lupino's inner sanctum. The hot air inside was like an invisible wall, thick with incense and something else. A sickly sweet smell that made you gag. This was the rotten core of the Big Apple. Lupino lurked somewhere ahead, like a spider at the center of his web, waiting. The vapors in the air started to make my head swim. Torn pieces of a letter lay scattered on the sofa. Sieht aus wie bei Jeppo im Keller. Punchinello had threatened Lupino in writing. The note had been torn to pieces, bloody fingerprints all over them. Don't want you to think that one of my boys is not playing with a full deck. Shape up, Jack. We are running a business here. I'd hate to send the trio to strong arm you. The trio were the Don's notorious henchmen. It was obvious that Lupino hadn't been intimidated by the threat. The flesh of fallen angels! Come to me all! Astaroth, Beelzebub, Asmodeus, Baphomet, Lucifer, Loki, Satan, Chitula, Lilith, Ella! Blood to you all! Secret, living under the skin of reality. I've seen it. The corruption of flesh! Oh! I'm the wolf! Yeah! I am the wolf!
I had known there'd have to be a catch in it somewhere, and this one was the Empire State Building of catches. Levino was pumped up and dying to go 15 rounds with a mutant alligator. And then he started this spooky monkey talk, straight from a bad dream. Mine. I have tasted the flesh of fallen angels. I've tasted the devil's green blood. It runs in my veins. I've seen beyond a world of skin, the architecture of blood and bow and arrow. Death is coming! She is coming, and hell follows with her. This is the twilight winter. I am ready to be her son. <laughs> her time is now, and all who stand in her way must die! <laughs> You'll die! You'll die! Now! Oh! Die! Oh! sure he'd stay that way. V was a bad monster. Turned them into friggin' zombie demons from outer space. I think he's dead already. Huh? And that's when it happened. But dead or not, you've got the wrong guy. In stepped this knockout femme fatale holding a gun to my face. I returned the favor. Und wie das weitergeht, sehen wir irgendwann. Ich habe ja oben Kundschaft. Hoppla. Oh,